Hello, my friend. Do you want to know the one secret that all millionaires are made of? Well, not all millionaires. People that win the lottery don't count because they end up spending all their millions after a few years anyway. I'm talking about real millionaires that built empires from the ground up with their bare hands. Yes, if you want to learn the secret, sit back and relax because I'm about to share it with you. My name is James Blackburn and wait a second, I know what you're thinking. No, I'm not a millionaire yet. I probably barely look old enough to drive. Well listen, that's the first myth that the poor middle class believe. Let's put this myth out right now while the fire is still hot in your mind. The first myth is that you go out and you buy a book and you invest in a course and poof, you're a millionaire overnight. That couldn't be anything further from the truth. You see, becoming a millionaire takes time. You build up your personal value that you have to offer people. You develop yourself into a leader. And that's when you will become a millionaire. So, if you want to learn the one secret that's made all millionaires, it really comes down to your understanding of this very basic principle that Robert Kiyosaki teaches in his book, The Cash Flow Quadrant. Robert says that all of us fall into one of these four quadrants, or more than one. E stands for employee, S stands for self-employed, B stands for business owner, and I stands for investor. Most of us, 99% of us, fall into either employee or self-employed. Which one are you? The employee or the self-employed? What they both have in common is that they're both trading their time for dollars. And the reason is because when we grew up, our parents taught us all wrong. But not on purpose. It's just because they didn't know any better. If you're an employee, chances are, when you graduated from school, your parents told you, make sure you look for a job with good benefits. Your mom said, make sure they got a good health insurance plan. Your dad said, make sure they got a matching 401k. You guys, that's the number two myth. Benefits. Benefits do nothing but make you dependent. They make you think from a position of weakness. You ask questions like, what are you going to do for me to your employer? When instead you should be asking independent questions like, what can I do for my employer? How can I add value to this organization and increase the revenue? When you start thinking like somebody who's independent, you take control of your financial future. You take control of your destiny. So what you end up with is a bunch of overworked people who are underpaid and dissatisfied with their jobs. People like postal workers, people that work in the hospital, teachers, teachers especially. They get three months off during the summer, they got all the time in the world to enjoy life, but they're broke. So what do they end up doing? Finding a second job and then complaining that they don't have money all year. So, let's get rid of myth number two right now. Now let's talk about the self-employed. People like doctors, lawyers, psychologists, or like my uncle, a dentist. These people, they go to school for many years, they graduate with a high degree, and they're ready to make some money. Well, what happens is, they quickly find out that they're the only one that has that specialized knowledge. They can't hire a team of people that can help the client like they can. The only way they're going to make money is if they're there in the office. So, if they want to make more money, they have to work more hours and they end up missing out on a lot of things in life, like their son's soccer game, or their daughter's beauty pageant, or even just family dinners. They end up missing out on a lot. But why? What motivated these people to go and get into this profession in the first place? It was myth number three. Do what you love. Follow what you're passionate about and start a business. If you've ever read the book The E-Myth by Michael Gerber, Mike talks about this lady whose passion was baking pies. And she came up with this great idea to get into the pie baking business. Well, what happened was, she went from baking two hours on Saturdays to baking 50, 60 hours a week. But not just that. She became responsible for the accounting, for building relationships with wholesalers and buying ingredients, for hiring, for making sure employees come to work on time. From something that she was extremely passionate about, she now hates. So starting a business in something that you're passionate in is not the answer to creating financial freedom. So let's put out myth number three now. 
So what you get when you turn your passion into a business is your passion turns into hate. Why? Because you don't have any time. So, the employee has plenty of time, but no money. The self-employed has plenty of money, but no time. And what good is one without the other? If freedom is what you really want, you have to have time and money. And now I'm going to share with you the secret that the business owner and the investor use to create time and money that the employee and the self-employed don't know. Are you ready for the one single secret that the business owner and investor use to create time and money in their life? Here it comes. It's leverage. Leverage is the secret to creating financial freedom in your life. Let's start with the investor. If you have $2 million, you can put it in a conservative investment account earning 6% interest, and you can make $10,000 a month in passive income. It's pretty simple. You see, the investor is leveraging money to make more money. But the problem is, most of us don't have $2 million in the bank. Let's take a look at how the business owner is using leverage. You see, the business owner has learned how to leverage people. He's learned how to leverage the time of other people. See, if you're an employee or self-employed individual, the time that you can work is limited to the time that you're awake in a day. You can only work 50, 60, maybe 70 hours before you die of exhaustion. But when you're a business owner, the time that you can work, the productivity that your organization can put in, is unlimited. Because you can hire and partner with as many people as you want. Don't you see? Let's just say that each person worked about 40 hours for the week. So if you had 10 people on your team, that's 400 hours. Plus yourself working 40 hours is 440 hours in productivity for one week. Now let me ask you a question. Do you think this business owner at the top is a master of the product or service that his people represent? For example, say you're in the tire business or the vitamin business. Do you think he studied his whole life and mastered tires or vitamins? No. This person up at the top has become a master of communication. Communication. Did I say communication? This person at the top has learned how to become a master communicator with people, a motivator. Can you see the power in this? That should leave no question in your mind that the only way for you to achieve financial freedom is to become the business owner. The only question it should leave is what type of product or service do you want to represent? If you have 10 people that are part of your organization and they're all bringing in money into your company, does it really matter to you which product or service they're out representing as long as it fills a consumer's need and wants? Does it really matter to you as long as your money is flowing into the organization? If you've built an organization that offers a product or a service that solves a problem of the consumer and you got plenty of money flowing up to you, not only can you pay for your benefits, but you got all the time in the world to enjoy your passions. You see? Okay, let's recap. If you want to create freedom in your life, then you need to learn how to create more time, which the self-employed does not have, and more money, which the employee does not have. And the only way to do that is to become the business owner so that you can leverage other people's time and be more productive in fewer hours so that you have more time to enjoy your passions and do all the things that you love to do and be with the people that you love the most. Does that make sense? There should be no question in your mind any longer. You have no excuses. The only way that you will ever achieve financial freedom is if you build a business and leverage the time of other people. The only question should be, which product or service makes most sense in the environment we're in today?